Hi guys, welcome to Lamas tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at the standard deviation. Now before we start, I would just like to introduce the new competition that we're having to win £250 each month in 2021. Full details on how to enter will be discussed at the end of this video, so make sure you watch all the way through till the end. Now if we take a quick overview, standard deviation is a more accurate measurement of the spread of a set of numbers. So this is a statistical analysis technique that mathematicians, statisticians and scientists will use in order to analyse a set of data. You can also use techniques such as the semi-interquartile range, however these aren't as accurate as the standard deviation. There are two formulas that you can use, however you don't have to remember these as they will be given to you in the formula sheet. And the standard deviation uses every number in the data set. That is the reason why it is more accurate than the semi-interquartile range. Because the semi-interquartile range only accounts for small chunks individually of the data. Whereas standard deviation accounts for all the numbers at a single point in time. Now the two formulas that you will be given are this one here and this one here. Now this can look quite complicated to start with because there is a couple of unusual letters and there are a couple of symbols that you may not be familiar with. So we'll break them down individually and then we'll have a look at how to solve a couple of problems. So this symbol here is sigma. Now sigma denotes a summation or a total. So this means that the value on the top of this fraction is going to be the total of x minus x bar squared. Now x bar is the mean. Anything in terms of maths and especially in science, if it has a bar on the top, it 9 times out of 10 will indicate that it is the average or the mean. So x bar is the average of all the x values. And the lowercase n is the sample size. So that's how many numbers in your data set do you actually have. So if you had 10 numbers, your n value would be 10. Likewise, if you had 6 values, your n would be 6. Now these will give you the exact same answers. However, this one has an extra term in there in that it doesn't account for this as a single term. It takes into account the x values separately and the x squared values separately as well. Now we'll see how we use both of these in just a second. So question one here says determine the standard deviation for the following set of data using both methods. So this is our data. Now in both equations, it contained x bar. So regardless of what method we use, we must find x bar or the mean. And the way we do that is we add all the values together and divide by how many we've got. So in this case, we add all of these and divide it by 6 because there are 6 numbers. And this gives us an average of 52. Now method 1, we will use this formula. And method two, we will use this formula. And we'll use the same set of data to solve and see if we get the same answer. So method one gives us the formula of sigma of x minus x bar squared over n minus one. Now, when we use this formula, we have to construct this table here. This is the x values. So this is just these values, the initial data set. So this is this column in here. Now x minus x bar is going to be this value, i.e. this value, take away the mean, which is 52. And then this column is going to be this value squared. So whatever number we achieve here will be squared in here. So let's fill in our columns. So here we'll just 48, 53, 50, etc. This is just this data set. And then we'll do this value minus 
the x bar value, which is 52. So 48 minus 52 minus 4, 53 minus 52 is 1, and so on. So this value here, the minus 4, is what we are going to square in here. Because x minus x bar is minus 4 for this row. And we square that, we'll get 16, and so on. So we end up with a column that looks like this. Now, we haven't accounted for the sigma, and that's where we have to add all of these values together, and that, 42, is the answer to this whole top of the fraction. Sigma of x minus x bar squared. So that's all of these values added together, and it'll give us 42. Now our sample size is 6, because we have 6 values here. Now that we have de defined all the terms, we'll pop it into the calculator, and we get s is equal to the square root of 8.4, and then that will give us a decimal of 2.9. So the standard deviation for this data set is 2.9. Now we'll see if we get this value using method number 2. So... Method number two is going to be this equation here. Now, this table is slightly different compared to the first. However, there is only two columns instead of three. Now, like the previous table, the x column is just going to be these values. So we'll just pop in these values here. Now, the sigma denotes the total. So we need the total of all the x values. So we have to add this together, and we get 312 for this column here. And then the x squared is this value squared. So that will give us this set of numbers. And then this here is the total of all the x squared values. So this corresponds to this answer in here, which is 16,266. And then again... Our sample size hasn't changed, that's still 6. If we pop that into the calculator, we get our 16,266, because that is the sum of the x squared values. 312 is the summation of the x values, and we have to square that. That's the only bit you have to be careful of. And then divide it by 6, and then all of that divided by 6 minus 1. And that will give us 2.9, just like the first one. So it is totally personal preference as to which one you prefer. Um, I think for me, I prefer to use the first one, purely on the basis that this can get a little bit confusing, um, because there is the bracket summation x bracket squared, whereas that's without a bracket. So sometimes people can get that round the wrong way. But that's how you would go about solving standard deviation questions using both of the formulas. So, now it is your turn. In order to qualify for the £250 prize giveaway each month, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and answer the following question correctly and comment your answer in the comment section below. Only valid subscribers with the correct answer will be entered into the draw. So this question here is using either method, it doesn't matter, method 1, method 2, you could use both to check that you get the same answer, is to find the standard deviation of this set of data. Now again, just like the, the example, this data doesn't mean anything, it is just a series of random numbers. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, leave any comments in the comment section below, along with the correct answer to the previous question, and we'll see you in the next video.